So, Jailbreak Season 23 has released. The 80s theme is out. Probably one of the better themes we've had in a while. And it is the fall map, as you can see. Which means the hot air balloons get added back. Um, like the fall atmosphere, fall colors. And today we're going to be talking about everything you need to know in the new update. Some, some of the obvious stuff, and then actually some secret stuff as well so make sure you stick around till the end and let's just get started right now the first thing being a code that will give you 10,000 cash so if you go to any atm in the game we're just uh closest to the one at the train station right here so we're gonna head over there if you use code manta it will give you 10,000 cash so just go right up to any atm Open ATM and type in Manta. I've already redeemed it, uh, so it won't give me anything, but it will give you 10k cash once redeemed. And now speaking of the Manta, this is the Manta car right here. The brand new car in the Legendary safe, replacing the Shell Classic. And the Radioactive Rims also went off sale. See, these are all the new items in the Legendary safe. The Vault Door, Tesseract, and Tesla items, plus Dragon Breath spoiler is still left over. But Electronic, Skater Wing, Evil Eye, Cheeseburger, Manta, and Boom and Speaker are all the new items in the Legendary save. As you can see, the Manta is now the only Legendary item, meaning if you have to get to 100% Pity, there's an 100% chance you'll get that, rather than having it be between uh, Tesseract and Tesla like it used to be. As you can see right here, Season 23 is 77 more days, which brings us to mid-December, I believe, December 16th or 17th, around there. So this is another pretty long season, but we have really good prizes, which means you'll be able to grind it without the season pass easily, and maybe trade for these prizes if you'd rather not spend uh, the Robux on it. But some of these prizes uh, have like something special to them, like they're unique. And we'll go, lo go over those right now, uh, starting with the Rollerblades tires, the top 2% prize. So we go over here into the tire style section of the garage right here. Click all. See here is the Rollerblade right here. So it makes the outer rim orange like a Rollerblade. I don't know why my car is shaking so much. But it shrinks the actual rim down to be, like, very small. Dude, I I can't with this car. It's, I don't know why it's, like, having a seizure. But you see it makes it, like, the inner rim really small. And no other tire style does that. So that's unique about that. Next is the guitar spoiler. I'm not really going to, well, this car doesn't even have a spoiler. Uh, so I just I just switched over to Camaro real quick so I can show you guys the guitar riff spoiler will have effects. Uh, you can kind of see them glitching in and out right here, but when you drive forward, they will have effects coming out of the back. So uh, just like the vintage wings, when you, uh, except those are only when you break. These will always have it. I'm pretty sure the glider shop wing also has it. See these little like strands coming off the back. The guitar uh, riff wing will also have those. And the level 4 prize uh, used to actually be called the Panther Wing. But there was a little drama with that. I'll put that image on the screen for you guys. And they renamed it to be uh, Torero or the Torero Spoiler, as you can see right here. So if you're wondering why the name changed, that is why. And also if you, hook, uh, if you look right here with the level 3 prize it is a rim and an also also a tire it is a package deal except the tire you have to buy for 20k cash if you come into the tire sticker section you'll see right here 80 style that will become available to you once you unlock level 3 i'm pretty sure you do need the season pass to get it but i'm not 100 percent on that don't fool me on that but if you're looking for it this is also part of the level 3 prize right here the official level 3 prize is the Shutter Rim, or Shutter Shade Rim, which you can see uh, right here. It's a pretty simple rim.
and you guys might have noticed there is also a brand new texture. It's not available to anyone yet, but it will soon be available to any creators from the Jailbreak Reddit page that have gotten their items into the game. And this is the creator texture, as you can see right here. You have to click all to be able to see it since it's not given out to anyone yet. But it's basically like the blender, like, kind of try outline of an item when you post it. Uh, so you can see, like, the triangles and angles and all that stuff on the community page. So it's a cool texture to, like, highlight uh, creators and, like, uh, to give appreciation, like, back to them for, like, contributing to the game and, like, adding something in. So that's a cool little texture that they added. One last thing I would like to cover is some of the uh, miscellaneous stuff in the change logs for Jailbreak uh, that Simo put in the Discord server. As you can see here, they updated the cruise season and awarded prizes. Right now, the uh, cruise uh, like seasonal awarded prize is the Gradient Pixel Drift. You can see right here. And apparently, it's been updated. I went through and I couldn't find, like, any new items that it could be so maybe they didn't officially add it in yet maybe it'll be towards the end of season 23 when it crosses over into season 24 not quite sure with that but i'll keep you guys updated with that and finally one last thing that i know people are probably not gonna be happy about is they officially patched the ceo door glitch they added brand new invisible walls, and they moved the NPC spawns to a different spot now within the same door. They kept, like, the door layout the same, but they moved the, where the NPC spawn to a different spot. So I'll actually go in the game and show you guys that right now. Alright, as you can see, we are here at the mansion, and if I go ahead and free cam my way down into the room where the... Uh, CEO battle happens, uh, should be right in here. You can see that the door is still in this. My game just froze. Uh, there we go. The door is still in the same spot, but the NPC spawner has moved. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's moved closer to where the door actually is. So it would be like. It used to be more over here, where the NPCs would walk up and come out. Now I'm pretty sure it's, like, right at the door. And there are new invisible walls, um, like, in this corner right here, where you can't stand there anymore. Um, it comes out from the bookshelf all the way to the corner and then back to the door. So the door glitch no longer works. Uh, do not try that anymore. I mean, it can if you want, but you're gonna die, so I suggest don't doing, not doing that. But, yeah. That is pretty much everything you guys need to know about Jailbreak Season 23. Make sure to subscribe if this helped because we're trying to hit 1k subs. Pretty close. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.